Hey, it's Amanda here. Today is December 31st, New Year's Eve, and I'm going to try and post a video every day in January to celebrate Vegan January. So they'll all be vegan related, and they'll probably go on my second channel, although we'll see. By the time you see this, we'll know. <laughs> although I might put some on my main channel, we'll see. So today, we are having a nice little vegan feast kind of roll in the new year so I'll share that with you guys but I figured I would share with you guys my grocery haul because I literally just went to the grocery store in my pajamas I was that person so I'm just going to show you a few things I got some of it just because I wanted it for dinner tonight and some of it because it was on sale but I really didn't get much of one bag so I got two bundles of asparagus for dinner tonight these were buy one get one free, so I went ahead and got these because I know I'm going to want, probably tomorrow I'm going to want to make some buffalo cauliflower because I love it. So, two of them. So much plastic on everything. Got two things of shiitake mushrooms. And then I got two bags of these. There's a different brand I like better, but okay. it was still all sold out, so I got these ones. They were on sale. Everything I got was on sale, actually. And then two bags of white potatoes. They were buy one get one free as well. So I think we're gonna do some hash browns and some French toast for breakfast, and I will show you guys all of that as well. So we're making French toast for breakfast. This is gonna be the battery stuff. I found it on a website called. It doesn't want to focus, but it's called a, It Does Not Taste Like Chicken, so we're just using that recipe. Austin's very excited. We've got some peppers and onions starting for the hash browns to add more flavor. Yeah, it's done. We just have some vegan friendly bread from the grocery store. We're going to cook it up on this skillet. Very excited. Breakfast is going to be delicious. We had donuts last night. There's a company in Baltimore called Donut Alliance that um, makes donuts and sends them out to vegan friendly stores in the city. So I only took one bite of mine last night because I wasn't super hungry. Mm. Still really good though. We're having French toast so I don't want to like eat too much of it. I might save that for later. These are looking good, but even better are these. They look amazing. Very nice. You excited for breakfast? No. <laughs> You're silly. I just poured myself a cup of coffee. Didn't bother heating it up. And just added some soy milk in it. In our new mugs that we got at our engagement party. So I got a wifey one. Austin got a hubby one. His cousin got us these. They're really cute. I think I'm going to do an um, engagement party gifts and ideas video on my main channel. So here's our breakfast. I topped the French toast with some powdered sugar and maple syrup and a little bit of my homemade granola, which I will share a recipe for later on. I'm just going to top my hash browns with some hot sauce and... We're going to have a delicious breakfast. It's around 3 o'clock today. I'm going to have me a cup of kombucha. This is the ginger aid kind, which I really like. Super good. I'm actually going to go ahead and put that back in the fridge now. Oh, the bottle is like awkward tall. There you go. I have to like tuck it under before we can put it in. And we have been... Very busy. Hi, Pam. We took down the Christmas tree. Very busy beavers. We had a Christmas tree here, too, that we took down. And now it's snowing, which you guys will not be able to see. But it is, I promise. We have our tofurkey roast in the oven. Um, I made a base of like one of the ones they suggested with the olive oil, soy sauce, and sage, and then I added a little bit of wine. I don't know if this is vegan wine or not, but it was gifted to us, so we're using it. And then 
I have the the little thing of gravy that comes with it in here ready to go for when it's more cooked. And I'm gonna add mushrooms to that too. Those are shiitakes. I just bought them pre-chopped because I hate chopping mushrooms because you have to clean them too and it's just annoying. We have our asparagus ready to go as well. And then grandma wants hers boiled. And then we have our potatoes ready to go. We're gonna make mashed potatoes. And we're all prepped for whenever the tofurkey roast is ready to have the foil taken off of it. And let me see if I could show you that actually. I don't know if you could see in the oven, but we just have it foiled over. And we've got some more base to add once we take the foil off. It should be delicious. And then if you have more sage, I might add that to the asparagus, I'm not sure. But that's what we're working with right now. I've never had one of these, so hopefully it's not horrible. We're just experimenting. That's why I'm making like lots of sides. So if it's not good, at least we tried and we have sides to eat. So that is what's going on today. Boy, those brownies would make good gravy. Yeah, we can add that into the gravy. It's a good idea. We have to baste this again and put it back in the oven for 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna start the asparagus and the gravy. And we have the potatoes going already. This looks like it's gonna be a delicious meal. I'm excited. So I've stayed in my pajamas all day, as you can see. I just added a little bit of avocado oil to the asparagus, some salt and pepper, garlic powder, and just a little bit of onion powder, granulated onion. Because that will be delicious. And I don't measure my seasonings, and I'm going to add a little bit of this wine, too. I think that'll be good. So I've got that on medium heat, and then I've got the gravy starting to go on a medium-low heat. So, we'll see how that goes. And the potatoes aren't boiling yet. The roast is back in the oven. So I think we've got everything under control. Here's dinner. Looks Amazing. I didn't end last night's video, but I did have like not even a full glass of wine with dinner, which I ended up leaving on the table. So I'm going to go put that in the sink. And that is everything I ate in one New Year's Eve. And now I'm going to start filming what I eat in a day on the first day of the year. <laughs>